Hello class, welcome back. So today I'm going to go through and explain to you what your Cardinal Virtues in the Saints project is. It is no longer a group project, so let me change that real quick because that's going to bother me. Okay, so listen up. This is what's going to happen. If you go on to um, PSL, I'm going to have a list of all of your names and I'm going to assign you a virtue, okay? I'm going to assign you a virtue. So um, whatever virtue you get, it's going to be random, but that's the virtue you're going to focus on, okay? So students will be assigned a virtue and research the saints who exemplified the four cardinal virtues and how they did so. Saints will can't, or saints, students can create a PowerPoint or a poster to show your findings. You will send slash share it to Ms. Johnson when you have completed it, okay? So let's give it an example. If, um, if Billy um, was assigned prudence, this virtue of prudence, these are the saints he is researching about. All four of these, he's gonna summarize, okay? Um, or if, if Sally gets justice, she's gonna be learning about these three saints, and I have links right here for you. Now with fortitude, there were a ton of saints, so um, I gave a big list. You can only choose four, okay? So um, if you get assigned one, you need to do all the saints listed, except for fortitude, I want you to look at four of them. The reason there are kind of different numbers is because um, for some saints, there's a lot of information about them, and for other saints, there's not enough, so I added another saint about it. You are not doing all four virtues, okay? You're only doing the one virtue I assigned you, okay? So you're only gonna be an expert on that one. So you're gonna um, find, this, uh, find this instructions, you can use the links, um, and you can start your research from there. So what are you making? What does it look like? Let's talk about it. So here's your rubric, here's how grading's gonna go down. First off, um, you're assigned your cardinal virtue, okay? So if you have justice, um, you need your virtue. You could do like a separate slide, the first slide. You can um, write down your cardinal virtue as justice and the definition of it. So that way I know you know what justice is. And then the saint section. Now for the saint section, um, I recommend you could do a, one new slide per person. That might be a good idea. What, I, what it needs to have, it needs to have its, the saint's name, it needs to have a quick summary of their life. So what's a quick summary, Ms. Johnson? Um, somewhere around five sentences would be perfectly fine, okay? If you wrote one sentence that said, they lived in Rome and nothing else, that really doesn't summarize their life, does it? New. No. So um, you could say they were born in Rome. Um, they were known for doing this all the time. Um, this is how they lived out that virtue, or you could say something about that, or um, different activities they did in their life. Maybe they died a martyr. You can explain why they died a martyr. I want life, so beginning to end their summary, and I want it in your own words. If you copy and paste an article and slap it on there, that is called plagiarism. That is stealing, um, because you're saying that those are your own words, and you will get a zero on this project. Do you understand? So you don't need a biography. Um, or a, bibli a bibliography, not a biography. You don't need a bibliography for this project because I know all the links you should be using, but you need to use your own words. You need to show me that you're an expert on this saint. You know this saint's life. Okay, so any plagiarism, I'm giving you a zero. So I'm warning you right now. Um, the next thing you need is why they exemplify that virtue. So if you did have ju justice, um, why do you think this saint exemplified justice? So you're trying to connect the dots of why you think that is. You can use your notes to help you if you need to. And then I would like a picture or an image of your saint. If you are missing any of these things on those slides, I'm taking points off. So quick, easy four things for you to do for each of your saints. Um, next is writing. The spelling and punctuation is correct. Um, I should not be seeing misspelled words. I should not be seeing no punctuation, no capitalization. Um, you know how to write a sentence, so you need to show me you can do that. If I find spelling errors, I will be taking points off. And then your visual display. The project is neat, organized, and not rushed. It is evident that effort was put into it. So um, you can do a PowerPoint. I think that'd probably be one of the easier options for you, for sure. Um, but some of you guys are very artistic. And so if you wanna you know, go above and beyond, you have the materials, you can use a poster and then send a picture to me. I'm fine with either one, but either way, it needs to be organized, it needs to be clean and neat. And you know my expectations from 
from past projects as well as your final your past final projects. Um, but yeah, I would really give this your all. We really haven't had a lot of projects this quarter. So um, this is a great way to boost up your grade, okay? Um, I'm gonna give, now the other thing too is you should not be freaking out or panicking. I am gonna be giving you multiple days to work on this, okay? And I'm gonna post um, in your weekly timeline when it's due. But um, I'm not expecting you to get this all done in one day. That's, no, I'm not. I'm gonna give you multiple days and those days, it's just gonna, I'm gonna call it a work day. You're not gonna be taking notes. You're not gonna be having to take quizzes or anything. I'm giving you time to work on this. But because I'm giving you that time, you need to show me you use that time um, by giving me an awesome project, okay? So if you're confused, I highly re recommend you watch this video one more time. And if you're still confused about something, please shoot me an email, reach out to me, and I'd be happy to help, okay? Have fun and get to working.